This is Duke University. Standing in the Little River Reservoir, uh, the Little River just behind us is, you can see, down to a trickle. Um, and the, the state climatologist predicts that um, uh, we're going to have a warmer, drier winter this year than normal. So uh, this drought is going to be with us for some time, and uh, we're going to have to sustain our conservation measures and get more efficient in our water use. Uh, I mean, Durham went to uh, stage four water restrictions um, where uh, they're actually calling on uh, folks to make a 50% reduction in their water use. That's a, that's a very significant reduction. So encouraging people to retrofit their showers and their toilets, um, that can have some big dividends. But again, particularly in the, not just with homeowners, but with some rental properties. Um, for the more immediate run, uh, conservation pricing in the rate structure so that uh, uh, people pay more of the true cost of uh, that water service and get a price signal that uh, if they're going to irrigate their lawn, uh, they're going to pay for that privilege. And I think that'll drive a lot of conservation. That also will drive conservation in a lot of the business and industries in, uh, in Durham, including Duke University. Um, if folks are making long-term projections about equipment, um, they'll, uh, they'll invest in more efficient equipment. And then the, the other two things are more long run, which is looking at uh, uh, better capture and reuse of stormwater and better uh, reuse of treated wastewater um, as potential uh, augmentation to our water supplies. Produced by Duke University, online at duke.edu.